What's going on everybody? It's your boy Larry O and I'm back in the studio and today I'm gonna show you a few different ways you can convert audio to MIDI and convert MIDI to audio in FL Studio. Make sure you like and subscribe and hit the post notifications on my page if you get me. So right now we're gonna dive into a beat that I started yesterday using the Cymatics pack called Viper. I'm gonna show you uh, a little bit of this beat and then I'm gonna show you how to convert these MIDI files into audio and the audio files into MIDI. So now that we heard a little bit of the beat and what it's, what the vibe is like, I'm going to dive into one of the midis that I have, which is this bass line right here. All right. So first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that it's routed to a mixer track, which I already have it routed to mix track three. Then any effects that you have on it, if you want them to stay permanent on there, you can leave them on. If you want to print this to audio, you can turn these plugins off so that way you're bouncing out in a dry audio file and then you can bring it back in and you, then you can turn these effects back on afterwards. Right now, I like the way these effects sound. So what I'm going to do is export them the way they are with the effects right now. So we're going to put it on song mode. Make sure that you don't have anything highlighted in here. So that way it gets the full song all the way through. You want to get that bass playing all the way through the song. You get one nice long audio stem. Next thing we're going to do, highlight the bass mixer track. So go down here, click the uh, record button to arm it to record. The next thing I always do is I create an empty space right here. So I go to right click over here and I insert one. That way the bass file that gets recorded to audio right now is going to drop right into this track, this empty track. It just saves some time and it's it's good for organization purposes. All right, next, we got that armed and ready to go. We're going to hit Alt R. Make sure it's on song mode again. And right here, click full song, cut remainder. 32 bit float is the highest quality. Then just hit start. Depending on how long your song is, this could take a while because it's getting the full song. It's going to render out an audio clip of the entire song. Okay, here's our bass in an audio form now. We can go ahead and mute the MIDI now. We don't need that anymore, but it's good to save it. If you're doing this for CPU purposes, you can get rid of it. Sometimes you can save the project as, delete this one, and save the old one just in case you need to go back on it. But my computer can handle it, and I don't really do it for CPU purposes. I do it more for organization and sound purposes. Because if you have any reverb or any delays on the tails, you can't really cut those unless you want to use automation. And I try to use the least amount of automation as I possibly can. So what I do is I'll convert everything to audio. Then if I want to cut any reverb tails, all I have to do is cut the audio clips, which is really dope. So we can go ahead and mute these midis right here. So now we have this bass and it's going to come in. You don't have to touch the volume. It's going to export as the same volume that you had playing in your mix before when it was running through the plugin. We can listen to that solo. See, it has all the same effects that it did before we converted it to audio. Then you can route that to a mixer track. You don't have to do anything to it because like I said, if you liked it the way it was before with all the effects, just drop it into a mixer track and you can leave it alone. You don't have to level anything. If you like the level that it was at before, it's gonna come in at the same exact level. You don't have to touch any volumes. Just drop it into the mixer track so it's there and it's nice and organized. Then we can move on. Another way that you can convert audio to MIDI is by going here. All right, so this is pattern six. Is this like pluck lead that I made? We can listen to it right here. We're in pattern six. So we're gonna go over here to this little section on the left menu, right click pattern six and select quick render as an audio clip or render as an audio clip. 512 point sync, it's gonna do a wave. You can leave remainder, cut remainder and start. Now it's gonna bring it in as just one audio clip. It's not gonna do the entire song like we just did with the bass. This is gonna do just that one pattern. Insert one here, make another space in the track. And now in this audio section up in the top left, this is your patterns. These are all your audio clips and these are all your automation clips. I don't have any automation clips in this song right now, so that's empty. So in this audio section right here, 
Pattern six is what we just converted to audio. So let's drag that in. And it's cool because you have the little, it leaves the little reverb tail on the end of it as well. Sounds nice. Here's a third way that you can convert MIDI to audio. Just make sure the only sound that you wanna to convert to audio is in that track going from left to right. You don't want anything else in there. You wanna right click the track and you can go to consolidate this track from track start or from the song start. I like to go from the song start. Wave again, you can go to 32 bit for the highest quality and you can pretty much leave all the other settings. Dope. Now that we have that, it automatically mutes the other MIDI that you had in there, so you don't even have to really go ahead and mute that. It comes in at the same volume again. Anything in that track is gonna be converted to audio. So make sure if you have your song organized, make sure that you only have the sounds that you wanna to convert to audio in that one track going from left to right, from the start to the end of the song, or else you're gonna get confused and it could be a mess. And one of the main reasons I convert MIDI to audio is these reverb tails right here. Say if you want complete silence on a break or a drop, it's really good to convert your MIDIs to audio because you can easily cut and get rid of that reverb tail right there and have a nice clean cut. See how the reverb just cuts? because you're actually cutting the audio versus automating a reverb plugin on or off. And that can get a bit messy sometimes. All right, now let's get into the hard part and that's converting audio to MIDI. Now I know there are some plugins out there, but I wanted to show you guys the only real way that I know how to do it in FL Studio and that's through Edison. And it's not really 100% accurate. You do have to have some skill involved and you do have to really kind of know what you're doing and what you're looking for. There are a couple of tricks that you can use though. Unfortunately, if you have samples that have multiple instruments and chord progressions in there, this method will not really work too well. You can use it, but you're gonna have to do a lot of fine tuning and a lot of stuff by ear still. It can help you, but you're gonna have to do a lot of work by ear. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go with a lead, a guitar lead, like something that's one layer, um, and, and this method should really work pretty accurately let's go search for a sample in the new viper cymatics pack get a flute because i know a flute's going to be like a nice one layer let's drop that in okay and then we're going to go to an empty pattern we're going to drop an empty pattern in here and stretch it to the same length as the sample then we're going to click this menu this little drop down in the top left of the sample right here we're going to go to edit sample then we're going to right click in here go to tools and then we're gonna go over to convert to score and dump to piano roll. There are gonna be some mistakes in here, so we're gonna go through that listen and we're gonna fix it. I'm gonna cut it, I'm gonna drop it onto FL keys. And just to hear everything nicely, we can turn all these notes, all these velocities up to zero again by holding the Alt key and click and drag in your mouse and that'll zero everything out nice and evenly. So we're gonna have to nudge that note there. Now that melody sounds great, sounds pretty accurate to the flute. So now you can go ahead and drop any sound on that MIDI that you want and get super creative with it. Now you pretty much know the key of that sample as well. And that's gonna do it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Those are my top ways of converting audio to MIDI and MIDI to audio. If you like this video, share it with a friend, hit the like button, subscribe, turn the bell on, if you get me.